Hi kindergartners! Today we are going to learn how to use shapes and lines to draw a bear. So to start off, we're going to draw a circle. And I want you to notice where I'm drawing this circle. Because it's not way down at the bottom and it's not right in the middle. It's not way up at the top or way over to the side. You want it kind of right in this area, close to this side but not touching. Leave some space at the top and quite a bit of space at the bottom so we can add the rest of the body. So there we have a circle. And next we're going to draw another circle that's a little bigger and it's going to start by touching this circle. And it's going to go bigger. But it doesn't go all the way to the side. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It doesn't go all the way to the top. So now we have a small circle and a big circle. And then we're going to make another big circle that's touching the other big circle. So now we have three circles just like this. The next thing we're going to do is use some lines to connect our circles. So I'm going to go from the top of this circle to the top of this circle with a line. And then I'm going to go from the top of the big circle to the top of the other big circle with a line. Next thing I'm going to do is go from the bottom of this circle to the bottom of this circle with a line. And from the bottom of the big circle to the bottom of the big circle with another line. Now I have my circles all connected and this is going to be like the body of the bear and this is like the head of the bear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that goes out the side just not too long, just kind of little like that. This is going to be like the bear's nose, his muzzle. And then it's going to curve down and touch the, the circle. So I drew a line over and a line that curves down and touches the side. And then I can color in the end and that's his nose. And then I'm going to draw another circle for his eye. And this bear is facing sideways, so we'll only be able to see one eye. So I'll just draw one circle and you can draw a little bit inside of it to make it filled in. And then I'm going to use half circles for his ears. So I'm going to draw a half circle here for one ear. And then his other circle, his other ear is going to be kind of off to the side. So I'm going to do a half circle over here on top of his head because it's kind of on the other side of his head. You can only see it a little bit on the top. And then I need one more half circle on the back, and this is actually his little stubby little tail. It's a curved line like that. And then the last thing I need is to make the legs. So for the legs, I'm going to draw a line that goes down at kind of angle sideways. And another one that comes kind of from the middle, almost the bottom of the circle, and curves in like that. See how they come towards each other but they don't touch at the bottom. There's quite a bit of space there still. And then I'm going to draw an oval shape on the bottom that starts on this line and it makes a curve over and then it curves back just like that. Kind of like a sideways J. And then I'm going to connect that with the other one. I'm going to do the same thing for the back legs. So two lines that point towards each other but don't touch. They point towards each other but they don't touch. And then a curved line that comes off and back and then touches that other line. And now I have two legs in my bear but my bear is going to be walking so I want to show his other legs too. So where this leg started, I'm going to draw a line that comes out to the side like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did for this foot. I'm going to make it curve and come back to touch his other foot. So it looks like he's got one foot that's down and one foot that's walking. And then on the back, I'm going to just make a little triangle shape back here to look like the other foot. So it goes down and touches. So now I have a nice bear that I can color in. I can design the background however I want. You can add grass and trees and the moon because this is um, 
a bear and we want to make a habitat for a bear. So you can go ahead and add whatever details you want to your bear. Make sure you color them in neatly.